Hi guys, today is Sunday, which means that it's Tarot Day. Okay, last week I haven't been well, so today's spread is very, very short. Okay, um, I just don't feel good. I'm getting better though, okay? I am not a victim, so I do not ever say I'm not feeling well just for the sympathy. I let you know so I'm raw because I'm humbled with what I do. I'm not an immortal. I'm not an angel. I'm not an ascended master. We all go through good and bad times, correct? So I like showing when I'm going through the bad times because then you know I'm only human, doing my best in a world gone mad. And that's what's happening this week with the tarot cards, guys. The first card that I got is this little guy. Whoops, I've just put him back in the bag, but I've just pulled him out. It's this one, M. Okay, let me just go over to my ruin book and I'll find him <clears throat> so I can read him. It's the horse, sacred animal of Nordic peoples carrying warriors to battle. The ruin of physical and emotional relocation. It's a good omen for travel, making a career, a house or a relationship move. If in a difficult situation indicates a successful harmonious resolution is just around the corner. Okay. And it's also a signal to broaden one's horizons. So the horse is stamina. Okay. We need our stamina right now, guys, because the next two years, it's getting close now to when it starts. I think it's already started. You know, there's no food in the shops. Petrol's prices are going up. The next two, they're saying now that it's going to go back worse than the depression of the 1930s. So if you look at the 1930s, everybody lost their job. There was no welfare. There was no, um, what, what do they call it in America? Social security. No one had any money. So my suggestion is look at what is important to you. If you don't need something to eat, <laughs> don't buy it. Okay, this is not the time to go and buy your new dress just because you like going out on Friday night. This is not the time to go and buy a brand new car, especially when they're saying five years and all cars will be off the road because they're going electric. I don't think that's going to happen anyway because of the lithium batteries are so expensive to make. Okay, and they can't destroy them. They bury it and then it's nuclear radiation under the earth because new lithium is nuclear. So it's going to not be a wise decision to do this, okay? So we've got to assess who we are, what we are, and where we're going for the next two years. I've long said since 2001, my cat just came in the room, by the way, um, you know, but since 2001, I've known that the agenda from 2015 to 2022 It all came true. So why would the next two years, as she's told me in 2001, why won't this come true either? Because everything else she told me came true. Um, she said there's going to be no food. There's going to be no electricity. There's going to be no cars on the road. Because the hello, there'll be no fuel. <laughs> well, there's fuel, but they just don't want us to have it, right? There's food. You know, I went up to the shop the other day and there's no food. So I walk down the back. They've got these big double doors that go out to the back where they've got the big loading zones, um, loading bays, and their back docks. It was full, full of food. Why wasn't that on the Why wasn't that on the shelf? And one of the workers was there, and I said, "Mate, look at that pallet over there. You've got like three thousand boxes of tissues. Inside, there's not one box of tissues on the shelf." He said, yeah, we're getting told not to put it out. True. Go do some research in your own shop. <laughs> Go and have a look at all the pallets out the back and you'll see what I'm talking about. Because it's all part of the agenda to make us fear. They want us living in fear because this emotion of fear, for those who don't know, when we get scared, we're releasing an endomorphin that is very attractive to lowered vibrational beings. If you believe in aliens, the reptilians, they feed on it. They suck it up. It's their beautiful, it's like chocolate cake to them. They love it. 
So this endorphin, they love this, the fear that we emit when we're scared. So the best way to make all these little suckers run away is don't live in fear. Don't get angry. Don't hate. Start to love and enjoy. Because at the end of the day, no one else can tell you who to be and what to be. Only you have that power within to be who and what you are. No one else can tell you, oh, Linda, you've got to do this today. Uh, sorry, but no thank you is my answer because I don't allow governments especially to tell me what to do. That's why, you know, if you look at a certain Gil Bates video from 2005, he actually said the psychics are the threat that need to be inoculated so we no longer have our connection to spirit. True, I've got that video. If you want a copy, email me and I'll send it over on YouTube because it's still there. My email is below if you want it. All right, so let's go and have a look at some cards. We have the horse ruin. Stamina. Remember, people lived through the Great Depression. Who did not survive the Great Depression was all the ones who were angry bitter they had to go and do self-harm because they could not fathom to be alive in a world where they had no materialistic gains think about it all those people who appreciated nature who went back to the drawing board of who they are they all thrived they came out of the great depression making new jobs because they looked inside and said what do i want to do when this is over i'm an artist i'm a painter I'm, I'm a construction worker. I like designing houses. I like making furniture. Go and be that person. Look within and say, what am I if I wasn't doing what I'm doing right now? Okay? Think about it. Because this is our time before it really does hit. Because it started to come now. Okay? It's all over the planet where this is now happening. Okay? So my little lovey-dovey card love would open doors for others what this one means is be kind generous loving supportive to others don't judge why anybody's doing something don't be accusing and say you dumb idiot why did you do that for because as soon as you say that why why did you do that you're accusing them you're making them belittled you you're putting them lower than yourself so don't do that guys everybody is equal we are all part of the same collective here even the animals yes marigold it's freezing here today guys even my cat sneezing now okay next card i got is the heal card beautiful louise benton's cards heal this is our time to heal because if we go into this next stage of the agenda which the next stage is a doozy it's a roller coaster if we're not healed and if we don't look after ourselves for what's coming we are going to perish okay we won't get through it release the bonds of days gone by forgive and let go let spirits fly liberate the ancestral lines patterns and beliefs that cut and bind a symbolic bond with earth we share she feels our pain and our despair transform from within and find your peace only then the turmoil of this world will cease how accurate is that acknowledge allow and embrace your pain from shadow there is much to gain so in other words when everything's taken away and we're sitting in the darkness hello isn't it funny how she said shadow because we'll lose electricity sit there and evaluate who the heck are you what do you want to be when all this is over behold the hidden gifts inside so look inside yourself and say, what are, my, what are my gifts? What am I good at doing that will transmute the darkness into light? This life, just a chapter. Many paths you have trodden. Lives and times now long forgotten. We've had so many lives. Why put so much onus on this one? Okay, so let's go. Let go of everything. Hold on to nothing. So 
Look at the Great Depression of the 30s. Everybody lost everything they had. Are you willing to allow that to happen? Please say yes. The answer is always yes. Because nothing we have in our lives that is materialistic, we take none of that with us when we die. The only things that we take with us when we die are our intentions and our characteristics, which is our consciousness. That is all that survives after we die. So let go of everything. Hold on to nothing. It's all for your learning, the joy and the suffering. Release and be free. Let light fill your soul. Be mindful. Tread lightly. Know what it is to be whole. I transmute the darkness into light. So it's a healing card, guys. I'll put that up in case you want to pause the screen. But just remember, I've always said the next two years are going to be a doozy and they're starting now. It is. It's starting. So the last one I've got is the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. It is a merchant card. Now, what is a merchant? It's this person who sells and buys products, right? A merchant. Okay. Um, okay. The Five of Pentacles supplies a warning of paying careful attention to your financial affairs to guard against losses. So this is not the time to head for the shops to indulge in a spot of retail therapy. You know, I feel sorry for anyone who's bought a house in the last six months, especially in Australia. Our prices here have skyrocketed. A house that was worth three hundred thousand just got sold for five fifty. A house that I know that was worth six hundred just sold for nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Interest rates have just gone up. So that's three hundred thousand dollars that person has to now pay interest on that extra three hundred thousand dollars. So houses will ultimately go down extremely low in the next two years. I can see it. So it is not the time to go and buy a house if you haven't got the money to just outright buy it. You've got to think about putting that money into things that will keep us alive during the next two years. Food, water, electricity, um, methane, stoves, camping equipment, all that sort of stuff is what you're going to need, guys. Um, my suggestion is if, if electricity does go, do not have a flame at night because everybody else is going to see it and they're all going to come over knowing that you've got something they haven't got. You don't want to attract yourself, okay, to the wrong type of people. Okay, temporary hardships are indicated and may be felt on a financial or even emotional level. Yet help is at hand if you, are, if you look more closely. Money or resources could be lacking so take time to carefully review financial affairs. Ensure everything is in order and reorganize the budget accordingly. Okay, this would not be a good time to enter into new financial commitments or agreements. Let caution be your watchful watchword here. That said, be careful not to miss any valid opportunities that could improve your situation at this time. So there are opportunities for growth, guys. Okay? You look at the Great Depression, there were some businesses that survived and thrived. Go research those. Look within yourself and say, what am I good at? What are my hidden gifts? Um, I think it was in here. Behold the hidden gifts inside that will transmute the darkness into light. It's just here, guys. Okay. Love would open doors for others. Be kind, generous, supportive. Don't judge. Just allow people to do what they want. And don't get involved in what they do. This is where we've got to put that boundary up this week. And we say, you know what? What you're doing is not going to affect me. Right now, I'm getting sabotaged myself personally. Okay? I'm actually quite angry with someone in my life but I cannot let what they are doing influence, affect or create that same negativity within me. So how do I stop that? 
I cut it down. I put my shield up. I say, your energy is your energy. You have no right, no permission to enter into mine. You must now nick off with a capital F, because I do swear at it. And I say clearly, my energy is my energy. Only I can make myself feel the way I feel. Bingo. That's how we take self-authority. That's how we take our self-empowerment. That's how we can turn around to these government mandates and say, you know what? I'm not going to listen to what you want. You're not going to control me. Only I have the free will to tell me what I'm going to do. Okay? Bingo. So this week, guys, be prepared for what is coming. It is coming. It's inevitable. I was told about it. 2001. 2023 to 2025 is a doozy. And it's starting now. Look around. Look in your shops. You'll see it. Look at your petrol prices. And just remember, this country, starting with an R, and the country starting with a U, it's all a joke. Because it's really the country starting with A. Or a three-letter country starting with you, if you know who I'm talking about. You know, that president at the moment, his son, is right up there with what's going on here. It's all fake. It's all not real. So don't pay attention to it. Don't get consumed by it. Look within yourself and say, what have I got the power and the strength to do for me today okay because that's how we're going to win this war stay positive don't let anger or fear create our negative approach to here we've got to bring in positive loving peace be kind to everybody guys until next week love you all Have a good week, guys. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.